Welcome to Fight Master Yoga, the place to get your yoga fix. I'm Leslie Fightmaster, a certified yoga teacher trainer, and today I'm your teacher. This free yoga video is a morning yoga flow for energy. We filmed this in the middle of the labyrinth of beautiful Angel Valley, Sedona. Don't forget to subscribe to Fight Master Yoga on YouTube and hit the bell so that you can, will never miss a free yoga class. Start sitting nice and tall. Close your eyes. Let's bring our hands together. Take a couple of breaths. May our practice give us the energy we need for a great day, benefiting all people that we come in contact today. We'll begin breathing pranayama practice, kapalabhati. So take a long breath in. And exhaling it out. Inhale, we'll begin. Little short exhales through the nose. Here we go. Inhale, hold. Pull your belly in, lift through the pelvic floor. And then exhale. And again, we'll inhale, sweep the arms out, around, and up. This time, interlace fingers and face the palms up. Take an exhale. And inhale, we'll do another round. Here we go. Inhale, hold the breath. Draw the belly in, drop the chin slightly, lift the pelvic floor, exhale, release. One more. Inhale, sweep the arms out, around, and up. Take the other interlace, so other pinkies on top. Exhale, palms up. Inhale, here we go. Inhale and hold. Belly in, pelvic floor lifted, drop the chin. Exhale, release. Bring your hands behind you, switch the cross of your legs. And take your right ear to your right shoulder. Inhale, take your hand onto your head and reach your left arm out to the side, stretching the neck. Draw shoulders away from ears. So you're not pulling on the head at all, it's just a little extra weight. Release, left ear to left shoulder, left hand on the head, right arm out. Flex the wrist, so you get one long line of energy up the arm into the neck. Release shoulders, and then back to center. And then coming forward, make your way onto hands and knees. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale the right arm up out to the side. Exhale, sweep it under the left arm. Now take your left hand to the left hip and pull it back. Bring left hand to low back or reach around, hold the right thigh. You may extend the left leg out if you wish, tucking the toes under. And now roll your top shoulder back so we can stretch out our shoulders. Slowly release, back to table. And now left arm out as you inhale, reach it up high. Exhale, sweep it underneath the right. Come on to the left shoulder with your right hand. Pull the right hip back. Take the right hand to the low back or hook it onto the left thigh. And then option to extend right leg out. So if you are extending the right leg out, be sure to drop the outer right hip down as well as you're twisting your upper body. So we're trying to keep the hips level and twisting from above the waist. Another breath here. And release back into table. And then to child's pose. Keep the arms extended. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Arms, shoulders, distance apart. And then as you inhale, bring your chest forward. Lift your chin and tailbone gently. Exhale, press away from the mat, rounding the back. And then take your hips all the way back to the heels. Let's do that again. Inhale. Bring your chest forward, lifting chin and tailbone. Exhale, round the back, belly and ribs in, hips to heels. 
And again, inhale, maybe a little longer breath this time as you widen across the collarbones. Exhale, press away from the floor, long breath, taking hips to heels. Inhale again, coming up this time, exhale to down dog, tucking toes, and then bicycling the legs, bending one knee and the other. Make sure your legs are hip socket distance apart. Bend both knees, stick your hips way up high, stretch back, and then reach through the heels. They may or may not touch. Straighten the legs as much as you can, but keep that length in the spine. Inhale, plank pose, knees up or down, Exhale, lower all the way to your belly, everything touching at once. And then interlace your fingers at your low back. Pull your belly up, lift your shoulders up, and lift everything up. Inner thighs spin up toward the ceiling. Lengthen your sitting bones toward the heels. And then release and rest. And then once again, interlace fingers, press your pubic bone down into the floor a little, belly up, and lift up into Shalabhasana. Roll the shoulder heads away from the floor, inner thighs lifting up, the legs are still hip socket distance apart, back of the neck long. And release and rest. And then hands by low ribs, take a cobra on your inhale. Maybe going into up dog, shoulders above wrists if you are. And then lift back into down dog. Stretch all the way back here. Arms, shoulders distance, feet hips width. Press into the base of the fingers and lift through your forearms. Look forward. Lightly step or hop feet to hands. Take an inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold in. Press through the feet. Inhale to reach all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, bring the hands to heart. Tadasana, front of the mat. Feet, hips width apart or together. Inhale to look up. Sweep the arms. Exhale and fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, make your way to plank. Hug the elbows in through chaturanga. Inhale, press through hands and feet. Exhale, downward dog. Remember, you can always take your knees down, chaturanga. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring it forward, shoulders over wrists. Hug the knee in toward the belly and then step it right in the middle of the hands. Inhale, warrior two. Make sure right knee's over ankle. Drop the left arm, reverse your warrior, side stretch, exhale. Inhale, come up, lean forward, right forearm to right thigh, left arm up and over. Back to warrior two, reverse. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale up, back to side angle. Form to thigh or you can reach down toward the floor. Maybe hold the ankle. Inhale to reverse. Exhale here. One more time. Lean forward. Exhale to side angle. Knee is over ankle in line with middle toes. Press into the heel to come up. Inhale. Windmill the arms. Exhale to plank. Lower through chaturanga. Then inhale. Press through hands and feet. Exhale to down dog. To the other leg. So inhale, lift the left leg up from the inner thigh. Exhale, bring it forward, hug it in, press away from the floor. Use belly muscles to hold it and then step it in the middle of the hands. Come on up on your inhale. Exhale, make sure knee is over ankle and over the middle toes. Inhale, drop the right arm reverse. Exhale, bend into the left knee. Inhale up, lean forward, then left form to left thigh, right arm up and over. Again, inhale, reverse. Exhale, bend your left knee. Inhale up, leaning forward. Form to thigh, or you could slide the left hand down to the floor, ankle or block. Coming up, inhale again to reverse. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale up, lean forward, and right arm up and over. Turning your belly up toward the ceiling, press with the outer edge of the back foot and into the front heel. As you inhale, come on up, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the arms down, make your way to down dog, either through vinyasa. Inhaling up dog, exhaling down, or you can always skip those and go right into downward facing dog if you wish. Stretch back here. Draw the ribs and belly in, exhale everything out, step or hop, inhale halfway up, exhale, fold in. 
Press firmly through the feet. Inhale, reach up nice and tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Turn to the long side of the mat. Step your feet out nice and wide. Take the arms up as you inhale. Now exhale, hinge from your hips. Take your left hand down towards your right foot and reach right arm up. Then come on up again. Same thing, exhale, left hand toward right foot, right arm up. Inhale, back up. Exhale, same movement. Bring it down, reach up through the right arm. And now we'll hold here for three breaths. Make sure the feet are parallel. Two, inhale, come on up. And now exhale, arms to a T, right arm to left foot. Reach left arm up. Inhale, back to center, stretching the arms. Exhale, bring it back down. Once again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, set it back down. We'll hold for three, two breaths. And inhale, back to center. Exhale, hands to hips. Look up and lengthen as you inhale. Exhale, bring your fingertips down, then lengthen your spine. As you exhale, fold into Prasarita Padottanasana A. Firm outer hips, inner thighs. Lift the shoulders gently away from the ears. Your head may reach to the floor, it may not. But let the crown of the head lengthen down. Shift the weight a little toward the balls of your feet. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands to hips. Come up with a long spine as you inhale. Arms to a T. And hop the feet together. Make your way to the front of the mat. Inhale, bend the knees, come to chair pose. Exhale, keep them bent, belly to thighs, straighten into Uttanasana. Look up, inhale. Exhale, step or float, Chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts as you inhale. Exhale, hover it forward and then step it by the right hand. Stand the ball of the back foot, come into high lunge. Bend the back knee, tilt the pelvis forward, zip in the belly, reach tall. Pull the right hip back. Now hands to heart, lean forward and hook your left arm across and twist. As you inhale, create length through the spine. Exhale, twist, perhaps taking left hand down and right arm up. Maybe a little deeper into the twist if you like. You can also take the back knee down. Release, come to plank and chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog. And back to down dog. Exhale, left leg lifts. So hover a moment, press away from the floor using belly muscles and then step it by the left thumb. Come on up, bending the back knee, tilting pelvis forward, zip in the belly. And reach up as you straighten that leg. Pull the left hip back, make sure knees over ankle. Hands to heart, lean forward, right arm across and twist. Inhale, creating length through the spine. Exhale, twisting deeper perhaps. Maybe taking right hand down to the floor, stretching through the left arm. Keep the breath as steady as you can and then release, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pressing into the hands, the base of the fingers, and then taking the knees to the floor. And interlacing fingers, elbows down for dolphin. So tuck the toes under, lift up and back into dolphin. Make sure your elbows didn't go wider than the shoulders. Press onto the elbows, the forearms, lift the shoulders away from the mat. Draw ribs and belly in, firm the legs. A couple breaths, even in and out through the nose if you can, and then back to the knees and child's pose. Take a couple long breaths here, and then back up onto the forms, interlacing fingers, press up and back again to dolphin. Keep the belly and ribs drawing in and up, press shoulders away or lift them away from the floor as you press down. Then step back about a foot behind you and ripple the spine forward dolphin plank. Make sure elbows are right under shoulders. Pull the belly and lift the backs of the knees up, hips and shoulders in line. Make sure you're working your legs. Lift up, walk the feet in back to dolphin. Take a breath here. Exhale. And another, inhale, 
back again to dolphin plank. Step back, drop the hips in line with the shoulders, widen the collarbones, keep the back of the neck long. Firm the legs, lifting backs of knees up and then lower to your belly. Right onto your forearms for Sphinx Pose. First drop your shoulders down and then press into the floor and widen across the collarbones and then draw shoulders back and down away from ears. Keep the belly lifted. If you have any pain in the low back, back off of this one. Release, rest, come down. Bring your arms alongside your body and inhale for Shalabhasana Locust Pose. Lift up. So pull the belly in, lengthen your sitting bones to heels, keep the back of your neck nice and long. Shoulder heads lift away from the floor as collarbones widen. Now you can stay with that or bend the knees, reach for little toe sides of the feet for Dhanurasana, lifting the feet up and pressing them back. Make sure your knees are not going wider than the hips here. Breathe into the chest and then release. Hands by low ribs to press up and back into child's pose. Take your knees wide so your belly can rest between the thighs and you can lengthen out your spine. You can even press into the mat and stretch your hips toward the heels by pressing hands down. Let's make our way up, take hips off to one side, come to seated, crossing at the shins and fingertips in front, inhale, exhale, Walk yourself forward any amount, stretching the spine. Imagine that someone is standing and pressing your outer hips down toward the mat, grounding you. Inhale, make your way up and switch the cross. Fingertips in front, lengthen your spine as you inhale. Keeping the length, walk yourself forward any amount. Breathe here. Let everything relax, jaw, shoulders, neck. Inhale, walk yourself up, bend the knees, make your way onto your back. Take your hips to the left, drop your knees to the right and look over the left shoulder. If you want a deeper twist, cross your left knee on top of the right. Even out the breath. Bring yourself back to center, hips over to the right, knees to the left, deeper twist, right leg crosses over left. Long, smooth breaths, releasing any tension in the body. Make your way back to center and hug both knees into your chest. Lengthen your sitting bones toward the backs of the knees as you extend out into Shavasana, our final resting pose. Allow everything to relax, natural breathing. We have a quote from Alma, who is also known as the hugging saint. The sun shines down and its image reflects in a thousand different pots filled with water. The reflections are many, but they are each reflecting the same sun. Similarly, when we come to know who we truly are, we will see ourselves in all people. Begin to take a couple of longer breaths here. Reawakening our body. Let's 
start to make little movements in the fingers and the toes, hands and feet, stretch out through the arms and legs. And then bend the knees, rolling off to the right side. Pause a moment. Thank yourself for taking your practice. You did good work today. Make your way up to seated, bringing hands together. Let's bring our hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to heart center, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And the hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communication. Folding forward, namaste, all beings everywhere, happy, joyous, free. So glad that you joined me today. Thank you very, very much. A lot of people have been asking us to create an app. So comment below about what features you would like to see for our Fight Master Yoga subscription app so we can make it the way you would like it. I have some retreats coming up this summer. I'm doing actually a master class in Amsterdam for two days, June 23rd and 24th. And there's already 51 people signed up for Saturday, so we have to move it to a larger venue. I think we'll have room now for 20 more, so sign up quickly if you'd like to come. June 30th through July 6th, a Greece retreat, and July 8th through July 14th in Morocco. I also have teacher trainees coming up. Go to fightmasteryoga.com and check out the retreats and teacher trainings. I hope to see you in person very, very soon. Have a great day. Bye.